Hey guys, this is just for the sake of useful comparisons, visual comparisons, um, as you're looking at different turbos and stuff, hopefully this will be helpful to someone out there, because um, we've played with this for quite a while now. Anyway, this is just a comparison. This is an S475, um, and that is a 96 wheel. Um, so that's the S475 96 wheel that, you, that you're seeing right there. Just to give you an idea of what the side profile... Sorry, let's see if I can get it in light. Side profile of the blades are there, kind of the, the angle to them, um, the overall size. And that is an 83 wheel. So that's directly overhead. Um, 96 on the right. 83 wheel on the left um, and again looking at kind of the pitch of the blades the profile kind of give you a side shot there I want to do an overall representation yeah because just looking at that on a on the screen here you can't tell but when I back up and one is black that's diesel you know the soot on there um, but you can still tell the difference and um, if you if you see this the 96 wheel here look at the kind of the rake the sweep to that um, versus kind of the straight edge on this 83 wheel so very fascinating um, these are s475s this is 83 wheel over here 96 wheel over here just to kind of give you a comparison this is running a t6 1.10 housing this is running a t6 1.32 housing um, the spool on this just didn't match what we were shooting for on the street um, and yes you lose overall horsepower but the horsepower under the curve we've already run one of these with a stock s475 wheel compressor wheel on there and the difference between the usable power on the street between the 96 wheel and the 83 wheel was pretty drastic below um, I'm just going to say below 3,000 RPMs, uh, to be fair. Uh, so it's very usable, very noticeable switching between the two of these, even with a stock compressor wheel, just a cast wheel on both of those. Anyway, hopefully that is helpful and you can kind of get an idea of each one of these here. I've been kind of talking over it. If you just want to look at the wheels, you can mute this. But hopefully that gives you some kind of insight there if you're trying to choose which one would be right for your truck. Obviously, this one supports more overall horsepower, but as, as nobody wants to tell you, it comes at a cost. This, on the street, there is a definite lag before your atmospheric turbo kicks in on compounds and on compounds and again on compounds running tight compounds we're talking a 57 millimeter um, which would be the, like a super B um, not the super B special we're talking a 57 millimeter over the top of an s475 the difference is staggering between these two um, coming from a single this was great but moving from this to this was as much difference I would say as going from a single turbocharger to compounds with this 96 wheel and it was as much of a difference moving to this 83 wheel if not maybe even more so all right hopefully that's helpful we'll see you around guys